Today we're going to install the stainless steel Gibson exhaust dual split cat back system on this 2019 new body style GMC Sierra or Chevy Silverado equipped with the factory dual exhaust tips. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, first of all, I wanna point out we are up on a lift. This is just so that you get a good angle uh, so you guys can see what's going on. This is just as easy to do on the ground. Uh, I wanna point out, I've got the muffler supported. I'm gonna go right behind the muffler. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pipe right through. All right, now we're gonna follow that exhaust pipe back to the Y. Just to the side here, we're gonna see on the driver's side, we've got a flange. We're gonna unbolt the driver's side end pipe from that Y We're using a half inch. All right, so now at this point, I can go ahead and wiggle this piece loose. This exhaust hanger, I've already gone ahead, as, along with all the rest of the exhaust hangers, I've already hit uh, some penetrating oil on there so it comes out a little easier. So I'm just gonna wiggle it loose on this side, and then push it forward, and drop it out. All right, now this last piece of pipe behind the muffler is held in place by two uh, isolators that are support braces for the, the muffler. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to break those loose. I'm going to use a channel lock. Once those are popped loose, this is going to drop down, then I can wiggle it loose and pull it free from the exhaust hanger in the back. Make sure you don't damage these isolators because we will be reusing them. All right, next we're moving all the way up just behind the catalytic converters. Uh, we've got this joint right here that needs to come apart. We're gonna loosen up this bolt using a 13 millimeter. All right, so now we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver. We've got a little retaining clip up top uh, with the factory band clamp. We need to retain that band clamp, so we're gonna pry up on a little bit and pull it free. Now we can go ahead and take loose the rest of the exhaust. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull it loose from this last isolator bushing. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove this band clamp from the isolator, take our screwdriver, pry that up, and then slide our clip out. We'll be removing this factory band clamp to use that on the aftermarket kit. Okay, so our new main tube is flared on one end. That's what's gonna mate up to the factory pipe. I've gone ahead and put the factory band clamp on there. Now I'm gonna fit this up over top of our frame support, and I'm also going to lock it into the rubber isolator bushing. And we're just gonna wiggle it in. It's helpful to score a little bit of penetrating oil into it to get it to, to go freely into it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use a 13 millimeter again and tighten down that factory band clamp a little bit. Um, I don't want it to be too tight. I still wanna be able to adjust it. All right, so now here I've got my new Gibson muffler. I went ahead and put a three inch band clamp on the head uh, portion of it. Uh, this is a slip fit connection. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line it up to the main tube and slip over top of it. We're only gonna go in about two and a quarter inches. Um, and so what I went ahead and did is I marked on the muffler or on the head pipe itself, two and a quarter inches in. So that's how far I need to bring the end of 
uh, the pipe on the muffler. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and slide that band clamp to where it's over top of the slip fit connector. Take a 9 16 and tighten that down. Uh, we're not gonna tighten down all the way. We still wanna be able to adjust it before we finish tightening everything down. Now, before we install our actual pipe onto our muffler, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to my exit pipe. Now, I've already gone ahead and installed my band clamp, just kind of slid it in place over top of the slip fit connection. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the exit pipe, fit it up into the factory exhaust tip, and then I'm gonna line it up to the hanger bracket. And the hanger bracket is gonna slide into the isolator. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take that actual pipe and fit it together into the exit pipe. Once that's fitted together, then I can go ahead and bring that up, line it up to the muffler. Um, now, one thing I want to point out that I had to do with this particular one, this uh, band clamp was a little bit tight, so I had to kind of uh, pop it back a little bit to get it off of the slip fit. That way the slip fit was opened up enough to slip over top of the pipe. Once I slide this over top of the pipe, I'll, I'll use a mallet and a screwdriver and pop this back over top of the slip fit so I can tighten it up. Uh, so now I'm just going to go ahead and slide it in place. And once it's in place, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the exhaust hanger. I went ahead and squirted a little bit of penetrating oil up inside that hanger. All right. I'm going to move this back into place. All right, now I'm just going to get this band clamp snug for right now. Um, we still need to be able to adjust everything before we tighten it down fully. Okay, so here I am on the driver's side. I'm pretty much just going to work backwards. I've got my exit pipe. I went ahead and I put the band clamp on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slide that up into the factory exhaust tip, uh, rotate my hanger bracket around and push it into the isolator bushing and then push it kind of forward a bit and just let it hang. All right, next I've got my driver's side axle pipe. Uh, again, I've got my band clamp already put on. Uh, I'm going to slide this end up over top of the axle and then line up to my exit pipe and then slide that into place. Once I've got that temporary slid into place, I'm just gonna set it down on top of the axle and move forward. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, the pipe coming out of the muffler and go ahead and line that up to the muffler. I've already moved the hanger bracket or the isolator from the, the factory hanger bracket to my aftermarket hanger bracket because it's going to be easier to reassemble it like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and line up the pipe to the muffler and slide that into place. And once that's in place, I can go ahead and attach the actual pipe. Now that we've got everything lined up, we're gonna go ahead and attach our isolator to our factory hanger bracket and our Gibson hanger bracket. Next, we're gonna go ahead and line up all of our pipes. We're gonna make sure we have a little bit of a gap between our exit pipe and our factory exhaust tips. Make sure our tubes are at least an inch away from any kind of shock boots or any kind of wire harnesses. You might have to twist those tubes to get them into place. Then we're gonna make sure that all of our band clamps are slid over top of uh, the clamping positions. Now we're gonna go to the front, start tightening band clamps, work all the way to the back.
Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.